Warning, this fucking video is not for easily triggered. What the fuck is up, everyone? Prison Metaler here. I'm back with a brand new album ranking. And yes, I know it's a little quite a while. As let me know, I've got a request from Max Palmer. He wants me to do Soundgarden albums from Rush the Best, so... Here it is, and I'm just going to let you guys know that this is probably my last ranking for a while since I'm going to be taking a break from new album rankings because I want to focus on doing something else for now. I got a lot of videos ahead, so this may be my last ranking just for a little bit. So the next ranking I might will most likely be Whitechapel. It's, un it's unknown at the moment. So, um... So yeah, for now, this is going to be my last ranking. Um, so yeah, just for just for a while, temporarily my last ranking. Now, Soundgarden, um, be honest with you, this is my first time listening to them and my first time ranking them. So yeah, now I've heard a few of their songs before years ago, which I will, which I will tell you the songs later. Whenever I get to them. Yeah. I'm just going to let you guys know. I'm not the biggest grunge fan. Um, I never planned on ranking Soundgarden. Until I got requested. Um, to do it. So yeah. Since I've done my Alice in Chains rankings. Which means that Soundgarden. Is the second grunge band. That I am ranking. There's six albums by them. So, enough talk. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, now, starting up as their worst at number six. And I find this album extremely boring. And that is Cane Animal. Oh, this album is... This is a boring-ass album to me. I just can't get into it. Sounds like a Hallmark Channel Christmas special if Hallmark Channel made an album. This is how boring this album is. Uh, I just literally fell asleep. Oh, damn. Talking about it makes me want to fall asleep. And yes, this is their final album um, before um, Chris Cornell committed suicide a few years ago, which is really sad, and then, um, on his birthday, Chester Bennington committed suicide, which, from Lincoln Park, but, besides all that, um, yeah, this, I, I could not get into this album at all, it's just a really boring album, in my opinion. So, Keen Animals will have to come in at number six. Alright, now, number five, I'm going to pick um, Louder Than Loud. As a, this album came out a year after their debut album. Which I will talk about that album later. This sound sound really rushed, and it's quite pretty. Some of the songs are quite dumb at times. So I'll say it's an okay album, but it's not really great. But the songs I do like from here are "Hands All Over," "Gun," "Power Trip." That reminds me of a Camara song. Anyway. Loud Love, I Wake, and No Wrong, No Right. So those are the only six songs I like from this album. So it's an okay album, but it's kind of dumb a bit at times. So that's why it has to be in at number five for me. So yeah, Louder Than Love comes in at number five. As you guys may know, on the warning at the beginning of the disclaimer, number, so yeah, this is a very controversial ranking 
And number four is the most controversial one in this video. But it's not, but the album is far from bad. Don't get me wrong. So, yeah. Prepare to be triggered at number four. I'm going to have to pick Bad Motorfinger. Yeah, I know, guys. Um, this is pretty, I know it's shocking that I put this lower. My third of last. My thoughts on this one, I'll say it's decent, but it kind of dropped me off at times. So, yeah. Maybe it could grow. I Maybe this album can grow to me in the future. I don't know. I did not grow up with this. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of overrated for me for now, I would say. But, I mean, but it's far from bad, guys. Don't get me wrong. Um, but the songs I do like from here are Rusty Cage, Outshined, Slaves, and Bulldozers. Somewhere, Searching With My Good Eye Closed, um, Mind Riot, and New Damage. So yeah, those are the songs I do like from this album. But I'm not a fan of this one, so it's my third least favorite. But it's not bad at all, guys. So don't, don't get me twisted around. So, Bad Motor Finger would have to come in at number four, in my opinion. Okay, now, top three. At number three, I'm going to pick their debut album, Ultra Mega OK. Now, this is my most guilty pleasure album. I actually quite enjoy this one. Um... It kind of has this old heavy metal sound to it. And I really love Chris's vocals in this album. So, um, here's the songs that I do like. Flower, All Your Lies. Behind the Wheel is actually a pretty creepy song. I do love the haunting vocals from Chris uh, Cornell's on here. Uh, Mood for Trouble. Smokestack Lightning. Nazi Driver, and Incessant Mace. So yeah, those are the songs I do like from this album. It's quite underrated, in my opinion, for a debut album. Yeah, the production, many people hate the production, but to me, I feel like the shitty production felt, um, sounded, fits well with the album. I'm not going to lie. Ultra Mega Okay would have to be at number three for me. All right, number two. I So at number two, I got Down on the Outside. I actually quite enjoy this one. I don't like all songs from it, but I enjoy most of it. This song, I actually like it more than I thought I would like it. I thought it's going to be a snooze fest or a filler fest, but no, I actually quite enjoy it for some reason. It's pretty grungy, and I find most of the songs on there are very catchy. So here are the songs that I do like. Uh, pretty News, Rhinosaur, Zero Chance, Dusty, Blow Up, The Outside World, Burden in My Hand, Never Named, Apple Bite, Never the Machine Forever, Tighter and Tighter, No Attention, Switch Opens, and In Unkind. So yeah, that's plenty of songs that I do like from this album. So yeah, I enjoy most of this album. I'm not going to lie. So, um, as I mean, though, this was originally their final album until they broke up. And then they decided to come back and release one more album. And sadly... Chris Cornell, like I said before, Chris Cornell committed suicide uh, in 2017, which is really sad to hear. Um, and then they broke up afterwards. So, yeah. But besides all that, down on the outside will have to come in at number two for me. All right. Now, number one is the only album that 
I like all songs for now. So at number one, uh, my favorite Soundgarden album. At number one, I got Super Unknown, if I said that right. So yeah, I actually enjoyed this album a whole lot. Uh, many people said that this is um, a classic album by them, which I could easily agree even though I never grew up with this band whatsoever, but um, I do enjoy the shit out of this album. So I like all songs. This is actually the reissue version that I'm going to be talking about in this ranking. So there's 16 tracks. So here they are. Let Me Drown My Wave. I've heard that song before um, in the past. That's one of the few songs I've heard in the past. Fell on Black Days, Mailman, Super Unknown, Head Down, Black Hole Sun. I've heard that song as well in the past, uh, years ago. So yeah, Black Hole Sun's an awesome fucking song. Spoon Man, I also heard that song too in the past as well. Uh, Limo Wreck, The Day I Tried to Live, Kickstand, Fresh Tendrils, Fourth of July, Half, Like Suicide, Sounds like a Cedar song. And She Likes Surprises. So yeah, those are all the 16 tracks that I like from this album. I really do enjoy this album. I may not like it as much as I like Alice in Chains Dirt, but I do quite enjoy this album. Definitely enjoy it So uh, from start to finish. So that's why this album has to be at number one for me. So yeah. Soundgarden's Super Unknown comes in at number one. And that is my Soundgarden album ranks from worst to best. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I know it's a slightly shorter video. There's only six of them. So, I'll say they're a pretty cool band. I don't know if I'll ever go back to it again. I don't know for now, so who knows. I'll say they're a pretty cool band, but I can't say that I'm a fan of them. But they're pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, it's sad about Chris Cornell and all. Now, I'll admit, I did hear plenty of Audio Slave, which is his other band, which I think the rest of the members were members of Rage Against Machine, which I've done Rage Against Machine, um in the past before. I do quite enjoy this band, but I'm not sure if I'll go back to them, so who knows. So yeah, that was a uh, Max Palmer requested me this band, so there you go. And as I mentioned before in the beginning, uh, this will be my last ranking, my te temporarily my last my final ranking. So yeah, not my final final ranking, it's temporarily I'm just taking a break for a minute. That's just all. That's just my thoughts on Soundgarden. And that's all I have to say here. So if you enjoy this video, subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell of the notification. Make sure you leave a like and comment. And most importantly, share this video so I can get more views and subscribers. So until then, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everyone.